Hello everybody, I am the Craftacular Creator and today I am sharing a process video for Craft Roulette episode 185. I created a fun snowy scene using an interactive die. The parameters can be seen on the screen. For this card I used Lawn Fawn Snowball Fight and the Magic Colour Slider. Other items will be listed throughout the video and can be seen in the description below. I started this card by die cutting the pieces I needed to build the colour slider. I lay these out and in the background I have the Lone Fawn tutorial for how to build this kind of card. This will be linked in the description below. Next, I stamp the images that I want to be revealed on a piece of lawn fawn Let It Shine Snowflakes. Here you will see my random parameter of columns. A snowman, or a snow mouse, is a column of snow, don't you know? I then use my misty to position a piece of acetate for the slider part of the card. In this scene, you just see the mouse. I use stays on ink in black for this as I am stamping on acetate. I make sure I clean my stamp well with the stays on ink stamp cleaner. With the images stamped, I start to build the pocket. I use 1 16th inch tape for this as it fits on the very narrow pieces. I create a window with the acetate piece I stamped earlier, placing the image directly over the copy and closing the front like a book. Time for a short message to explain the show which inspired this card. I will hand you over to Mr Craftacular to explain Craft Roulette. Craft Roulette is the ultimate YouTube card making game show. On almost every Friday evening at 6.10pm Central Time in the US, 12.10am here in the UK. Mary Gunn, the hostess, spins the wheel. Four craft parameters are chosen. Guest crafters react, collect supplies and then spend a while crafting and chatting. Viewers can also play along too, by making a card with the same four parameters and submitting a picture of the finished card to the craftroulette.live website within 48 hours of the live show. Contributions will then be featured in the gallery on the website. Fancy joining in the fun? Check out the Craft Roulette's YouTube channel and website via the links in the description. I then add tape to the track piece on both sides, but do not attach this just yet. Now for a confession, and hopefully a teaching point. I had to do the next bit three times before I got it right. The slider piece has to have the tab facing the left, and not the right. There is a special slot for it to be fed through, on the left, and not the right. So make sure you stamp your sentiment so it goes the left way. And not the right. Thank goodness for the ability to edit videos. I put the sentiment slider piece into the pocket and I pulled it all the way across until it stops. I remove the backer tape from the track and attach it to the back of the pocket. Then I remove the backer tape from the other side and close the pocket once more like a book. Off screen I coloured the images using a fresh colour palette and added the magic slider to a piece of Let It Shine Snowflakes in Aqua cut to 4.25 inches by 5.5 inches. My final touch was to add sequins to the acetate to fill the empty space around the sentiment. This card does a ta-da all by itself as I can now share how the slider looks when it's in action. The little mouse is building a snow mouse. A very clever idea and quite a simple interactive die to put together. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I will be back soon.